breaking maximum alert August 20, 2013 from the Potter Blog site. Uh, potential of a radioactive cloud uh, from Fukushima over Washington State, Canada, and the Aleutian Islands as indicated today by a report in the uh, Nuclear Event Regulatory Commission event reports for August 20, 2013. Uh, we suspect, uh, based on our analysis, uh, that some sort of nuclear recriticality occurred in Fukushima on or around August 10th, impacting uh, Washington State and being detected at the Columbia River Nuclear Generating Station yesterday, August 19th, as indicated by this current event report from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Uh, we'll scroll down very quickly uh, to the actual event report. And as you see here, Columbia Generating Station, event report number 49290. Uh, the situation is, is it reporting, quote unquote, increased background noise and radiation stack monitors in the reactor building. And they actually found the increased back, so-called background radiation in uh, two monitors, a uh, high range monitor and an intermediate range monitor. Now, let's summarize this uh, on our website here really quick. Uh, it says that, uh, you know, under the assumption that these are true increases in background radiation and not an attempt to cover up radioactive releases from the Columbia River Generating Station, we analyze jet stream and weather patterns. Given that analysis of the weather pattern, it is possible to trace this radioactive cloud back to, Fukushima, to the Fukushima nuclear disaster. We suspect that something significant nuclear, a significant nuclear event occurred in Fukushima on around August 10th, and we'll show you that from the jet stream maps. We also suspect these may be noble gas detections, would be, which would be indicative of a recriticality. However, no matter what the source, these multiple radioactive detections bear significant concern. Uh, potential areas in, uh, affected are indicated in the jet stream map below. <clears throat> Let's get a little bigger picture of this. Uh, this is a jet stream, August 19th at 18 Zulu, uh, Zulu time. I think that's uh, approximately uh, uh, 9 p.m. local time in uh, uh, Washington State. The actual event occurred 10.30 a.m. local time in Washington State. Now here's Washington State. Gray area is the jet stream. Lighter area, gray area, high speed winds, a wide area, low speed winds. Um, it's on the edge of low speed winds uh, and the edge of high speed winds where we typically see fallout uh, coming out. But let's take a, a quick look at the uh, animation here. And let's set this up. So what we have here, this is August 10th. Six of Zulu is the start of this. And if you look over here, this is Fukushima. And what you'll see is a uh, high speed jet stream wind develop over Fukushima, carry directly over to Washington State, and impact on August 19th. Uh, dead center of the map is the uh, North Pole. So I'm going to start this up and we can watch this development here. And watch as this cloud comes over. And then we get in here and right here, bang, goes through August 20th. You'll see it here again, and this is where it impacts uh, Washington State yesterday. As you see, it's tracking tracked over the Aleutians and through Canada. Uh, whatever's whatever is go happening here may be ongoing. So this cloud you see coming back here, it's not a cloud, but uh, high-speed jet stream winds you see building in this entire region. Uh, these may all contain radioactive fallout from Fukushima to this potential event which occurred we believe again on August 10th based on uh, travel time speed and this uh, jet stream map. Uh, weather for the location in uh, Washington uh, no rain, uh, low wind speed uh, looks like the winds picked up at uh, 10, between 10 and 11 when this occurred up to 5 miles an hour and that the winds came directly out of, out of the north which is where we would expect, which means it would have came directly from the jet stream because the jet stream was somewhat north of this location. So again, we mark this as a maximum alert and there may be more of this coming. So you would definitely want to stay out of the rain, but it's uh, very concerning to us. This seems to be an airborne detection in absence of rain. So it bears some significant concern. And even 
if it's not from Fukushima, even if they're covering this thing up or something else is happening, you know, multiple reports out of the reactor stacks at Columbia River Generating Station is, uh, is very concerning. Be careful.